How are we doing guys? I hope we're well. Back today with a brand new episode of Golf Fashion Weekly, the show where I bring you up to date on all the news in the world of golf fashion. But before we get into the news, as always, if you have not done so already, do hit that subscribe button down there for me if you like all things golf fashion. And do drop a like on this content if you did enjoy it. I mean, I do get a great deal of support on these videos. It is very, very much appreciated. So uh, thank you everyone for tuning in sort of week on week. Not done one for a couple of weeks now, but uh, I do very much appreciate the support on the video. So we are going to kick today off, guys, with Puma. And Puma have brought us a peacoat colorway of the RSG shoe. The RSG shoe has been a very, very popular shoe for Puma in the last couple of weeks. And this colorway for me, I think is actually my personal favorite. It's a very, very nice, very clean colorway, I think. Goes with a great deal of outfits, grey, navy. So big, big props to Puma for this particular colorway. Moving on to Nike and Jordan Brand, and they have brought out the worst shoe so far this year for them. They have been smashing it week on week with releases. The shoes that Nike have been producing have been fantastic, but this reverse grape colorway of the Jordan 5 golf shoe is absolute trash. Just, I just don't know what they're doing. Hopefully we're gonna see a couple of new colorways, some cooler colorways certainly of this shoe. But for me, this is a big, big pass. Moving on to the guys over there at Adidas and they have brought us the Tour 360 SL. They've brought us some brand new shoes. We've got a knit version. We've also got a leather version as well. The all black leather, just stealth personified. I really, really like that shoe. That's gotta be, for me, the ultimate winter shoe. Really intrigued to see what the knit version of this shoe is like, sort of how easy it is to clean, the breathability of the material. It looks fantastic. So hopefully I manage to get my hands on a pair of those very, very soon. The ZX8000 trainer is one of their classic, classic trainers. And they have yet again brought a trainer from their archive and turned it into a golf shoe. This releases tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. here in the UK. Trendy Golf, Golf Poser, Function 18. I believe you're gonna find this shoe on those websites at that particular time so if you're desperate to get your hands on a pair of these do get yourselves ready for tomorrow morning moving on to g4 and they have brought us a couple of new pieces from their autumn winter 20 collection this particular floral piece in the navy and white colorway just i mean a really great print design on this shirt they brought us a couple of really really cool prints in the last couple of weeks so uh, a big props to g4 for that hopefully i'll get my hands on a couple of pieces of theirs from this collection and hopefully i'll be able to bring a video to the channel for you guys let me know down in the comment section below if you'd like to see that if you'd like to see a little bit more g4 content not brought a huge amount to the channel but uh, if you'd like to see some do let me know down below moving on to golf heads on instagram if you don't follow or look at their page regularly golf heads definitely check it out it's a very very cool instagram page where they bring you sort of loads of really cool pieces in the world of golf whether it be clothing whether it be custom club stuff head covers whatever it might be some really cool bits on their site but uh, they put up a post the other day about some supreme stamped sm6 tightless wedges Obviously this is not a Supreme product, but to see Supreme coming into the world of golf, I mean, if you don't know who Supreme are, they are a skateboarding sort of streetwear juggernaut at the moment. They are just doing big, big things in the world of streetwear. And to see a couple of their bits, their logos kind of come into the golf sort of arena is very, very cool indeed. And speaking of Supreme, it is week two today of their full winter 2020 collection. If you'd like to see me sort of go through their lookbook, if you're a Supreme fan, if you'd like to see me go through their lookbook and sort of me bring you all the bits from their lookbook that are gonna be coming out later in the season that I think will be very cool for the golf course, again, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm a big streetwear fan, I'm a big Supreme fan, and so do let me know down below if you'd like to see me bring a video to the channel of sort of all the things that you can buy Supreme that you could wear on the golf course. And I mean, what I like is, we're really sort of starting to bring that side of things into the world of golf fashion. We're starting to really kind of seek out inspiration from uh, from different areas, whether it be streetwear, whether it be various other areas. And so it's really starting to come into the world of golf. And I think it definitely think it has something to do with the younger generation and their influence on the world of golf and the world of golf fashion as well. I think it's very, very cool to see. So guys, that is all the news that I've got today. It's not been an action packed few weeks, I think sort of around the PJ Championship time, it was mega busy with news. It's kind of slowed down a little bit, but uh, hopefully in the next couple of weeks that will all change and we'll start to get those releases coming thick and fast. But if you did enjoy the video, guys, once again, if you have not done so already, do hit that subscribe button and do drop a like on this video. And guys, I'll catch up with you all very, very soon.